probably just cut the rest off, couldn't I? Oh, could have used that for a fire. <laughs> What's up everybody? Uh, we're here in the woods just practicing our primitive skills. Uh, I was reading about tripods yesterday and I actually built one at home out of uh, chopsticks and dental floss uh, just to practice the technique and the knots and all that stuff. So now we're out in the woods uh, trying it for real and uh, I think the teepee uh, or tripod, uh, you know this is the basis for the teepee, I think it's pretty cool and very effective because you can bring a fire in there and have the top of the structure open. Uh, and I think it's pretty rare actually to get a uh, shelter like that you can bring the fire right in there, have lots of space and all that stuff. So, I mean, the tripod is a large part of that structure, but you also need to have like a tarp or, you know, like an animal skin that's like that huge that you can make that structure with. And I didn't bring the tarp today, so it's only gonna be the tripod. Tripods are also useful. Uh, show them the uh, the camera tripod. Like they're they're useful for that sort of thing as well. It's, it's a very strong structure, right? Yeah. Um, but also I think they're good. You can put it over a fire, like hang a pot off of it or something like a smaller version. Uh, so it has a lot of applications, uh, not only in nature, but the, the whole like triangle, tripod sort of thing is a, just a strong structure in general, right? Yep. Okay, so now we're going to take it over into the clearing uh, and set it up and see how it goes. Cool. What up? Now we're setting up the tripod, seeing if it actually works. It works. Uh, so yeah, the idea with tripods um, is this the more like steep the incline is that it's going to shed the rain better but it gives you less floor area to work with so if you widen the base you have more floor area to like hang out in or whatever but it's probably not going to be as weatherproof as it would be like this so uh i'm kind of curious to see if i can hang on <laughs> just some push-ups massive fail <laughs> tripod oh. nice I'm not going to try that for very long. These sticks, uh, they were fallen wood, like they're not fresh wood, which would be a lot stronger. I'm sure that you could like climb up there and sit on it or something and it would probably be strong enough to hold you. But uh, let's try it one more time, yeah? Yeah, and you're off. It's pretty amazing, eh? Let me just show the knots here. Yeah, the knots, uh, it's really simple. You sort of got three sticks together. You do a clove hitch to begin on the one stick. And then you sort of do an over, under, over, under, over, under kind of thing. And then in between the sticks, these two gaps here, you go vertical instead of horizontal. Uh, then just keep cross weaving them kind of thing. Then you do a clove hitch on the other side as well to tighten it up on the, on the opposite stick. And it's really easy actually. All right, one more uh, chin up and then we'll call it a day. It's pretty cool, eh? Yeah, it's nice. And this uh, this looks big enough that you could hang something over a fire, right? This is definitely a cooking tripod. Yeah, yeah. This, I don't think this is big enough to be a sleeping tripod. You have to be a pretty no. short person. Or let's try extending the base a little and see like how much floor area we can actually get. Yeah. That's getting there. I'm assuming the structure gets weaker though. Like this point gets weaker the further you extend the base. But... So one thing what happens when you bring down the structure, you sort of lower the whole uh, profile, it's a bit more wind resistant. When I made my tripod by the beach and it was pretty tall, I put a tarp up, the wind started to blow just because it has so much wind resistance in terms of surface exposed to the wind, so. Let's see, this is big enough for me now. Yeah. Now I just need like 50 more sticks to cover it and 10,000 spruce boughs or whatever. If you got time, there's plenty of wood. Yeah, like we're, we're in a great place actually. For that like if this was a survival location I would say this is pretty awesome actually like there's no water which pretty much sucks but uh, there's a lot of wood to use obviously and there's good visibility in the sky too so for signaling and stuff it would be pretty awesome right yeah and for water it's going to rain tomorrow you that's, just have to wait one day that's right just lay there with your mouth open and <laughs> rain eventually but uh, that's cool you could like have your fire going it's like if you see something come overhead have a pile of green stuff toss it on the fire smoke goes up Hopefully you get rescued. Cool.